Hi, I'm Mark from Sounds in Sync, and in this video, I want to show you a handy new feature that's come about with Eddie Prompt version 2.2. If you record a lot of ADR for productions that use EddieQ to cue their ADR, you'll be familiar with these PDF forms. It's the engineer's list, here's the director's list, and the actor's list, and there's various other lists. But uh, the thing, of course, that you'd know is that um, what you really want from the dialogue editor or supervising dialogue editor is a corresponding MIDI file that you can drop onto Eddie Prompt to show you the cues in the cue list window. Now, if they haven't provided that MIDI file to you, or if the MIDI file that they generated has the incorrect specs, what this new version of Eddie Prompt allows you to do is drop any one of these PDFs or I've got PDFs here with uh, footages as well. You can drop them on as well. And you just drag and drop it onto the main window. And Eddie Prompt extracts that cue data out of the PDF and allows you to create your own MIDI file. Now, if you don't like the defaults or you want to change these settings, you can do so from this uh, MIDI settings button. And then you can just hit create MIDI file, set the start time of your record session, click uh, the pull down checkbox as required and we'll just save that to the desktop. Now we can close that import window. We can just drag and drop that back onto Eddie Prompt and now we'll see those cues in our cue list window. And we'll also drag and drop that onto Pro Tools and we can generate new MIDI tracks and We'll just display those MIDI tracks and six X commands. So now we can see our commands. Uh, and now we're ready to record. So we'll just rename and locate for the first queue. And there you have it. A simple way of getting that queue data out of these EDIQ PDFs into Eddie Prompt so that you can generate MIDI files and be ready to record in no time at all. So thanks for watching this video. The latest version of Eddie Prompt can be downloaded from the download page of our website. And if you don't own an Eddie Prompt version 2 license, click the try button when you first run the app.